Before the Ubers vs Barca Munich match, I had this absurd theory about Ness and his future role in the story, and that is Ness will injure Isagi to prevent him scoring and dethroning Kaisa. To explain why, we must look back at the first selection and focus on the parallels and similarities between the two arcs. Firstly, the structures between the two arcs are fairly similar, with five teams competing against each other, with both containing some sort of ranking system. In both arcs, we have key shared moments showing signs of familiarity between them, including moments such as Kunigami scoring the final goal in the first match, Ryo's shot getting blocked by a goalie, Nagi's shot getting blocked by someone's header after passing two defenders, Nagi trapping the ball in front of the goal, the run sequence of Isagi's allies, and other moments in general. Now what other important moment happened in the first selection? Kuon's betrayal, which is probably the most prolific moment in the first selection that lasted two matches and allowed development for the Team Z cast. Currently, a betrayal has not happened yet and could be Ness betraying Kaiser or someone else supporting Kaiser instead of Isagi. But that's not the moment I want to discuss. I want to focus on the moment where Kuon redeemed himself, and he did so by tackling Naki to prevent him ending Team Z's chances of losing. Seeing as how we have so many callbacks from key moments in the first selection already, I believe there's a chance this moment is recreated by Ness, with him tackling Isugi. Of course, the arcs aren't one to one and there will be some differences between them. For example, Barca and Munich would have lost their first match if they perfectly matched their original arc. But if you think about it as Isugi as Isugi in Team Z, against the opposing team in the first arc, reflecting on Kaisa, then when observing the battle between the two during the NEL arc, you will notice some trends between the results of the matches and their battle. For example, the first match against Team X, Isuki and Team Z lose badly, and we see Baru is able to turn the 0 to a 1 where he becomes the king of the team. However, at the very end, Isuki manages to assist Kunigami. At that point, he could not score by himself, and although they still lose, Isuki brings hope to the team and makes an impact. Now, what happens in the FC Barca match? After Bartra scores, we see Kaiser begin his execution, and score easily, where he displayed the ability to turn a 0 into a 1 for Barca Munich, and show why he is the emperor of the team. We see a great difference in skill between Kaiser and Isuki, where he is unable to score in the match, and as a result, he ends up assisting Kunigami, giving the other Buok players a chance to play in Bastard. But what about the Team Y match? Well, we see Okwa score the first goal. Then we see Isuki goes to realize Nico's vision is his strength in the match, and not just his scoring ability. And later on in the match, when Isuki tries to score, Nico comes to block the shot where Gakamaru jumps in and steals the goal, which we know his intention was to score, not assist. The match is close until the final minute, where Isuki barely outplays Nico and proceeds to score, winning the match. Now let's go to the Manshine match. Well, Kaiser scores the first goal for Bastard. And then Isuki learns that Kaiser's strength is also his meta vision. We then see Isuki attempt to score, but Kaiser interferes and Kunigami jumps to steal the goal Isuki intended to score. In the final minute the Master Strikers are on the field, the final goal commences, with the match ending with Isuki just outsmarting Kaiser by passing to Yukimiya in the last moment. And although Isuki didn't score that match, Kaiser admits he lost the battle of meta vision. And so it was Kaiser's loss, just how we see Team Y lose in the first selection. On to the third match, and what do you see? Well, Team Z go up 3-0 against Team W. And what happens next is Team W has a comeback, 3-3. And in the NEL arc, what do you realize? Well, once again, it's similar to the first selection, with Isagi having an insane performance scoring originally. With Kaiser following up with his own insane performance and scoring one of the most impressive goals in Blue Lock, the Ubers match has not concluded, but we know that Team W ends in a draw 4-4 with Chigiri's awakening. And so if this pattern remains true, then I'm inclined to believe that neither Kaiser nor Isuki will score the final goal of this match. If you consider the main objective of this match as a battle between Kaiser and Isuki, where only goals matter, personally it makes sense narratively wise, as I don't think Isuki will beat Kaiser just yet, especially since we have one more important match to play. And with Ness subbed off, Kaiser has potential backstory and character development to expand on in the final PXG match, where Isagi will finally overcome Kaiser and dethrone him, turning him into the naked king he prophesized. So what does this have to do with Ness and why him? Well Ness is extremely weird and loyal to Kaiser, with a crazy and psycho personality, and so if he tackles or injures Isagi, I wouldn't be shocked.
With Ness on the verge of mentally breaking, I believe he will either betray Kaiser or mimic Kuon and injure Isagi before he scores an important goal. With the betrayal happening in game 3 and the redemption in the 4th, then if it matches the first selection, then Ness will end up injuring Isagi in the PXG match. Even though the parallels of Kaiser and Isagi's battle resembles the first selection, I have a gut feeling that Ness may injure Isagi in the current Ubers match. And so for the rest of the video, I'll mainly focus on this match, and if it doesn't happen, I'll revisit the theory before the PXG match. We've already seen Ness fail at stopping Isagi at the beginning of the Ubers match, and so we may take more desperate measures to ensure that Isagi does not dethrone Kaisa. By preventing Isagi scoring, he will believe he successfully saves Kaisa, and when at the end of the day the only thing that matters in the match is who scores more, then Kaisa's defeat will be prolonged to the final match. And if Ness does act this way, then he will either get red carded and sent off, or subbed off by Noah, especially since he's acting irrationally which is against the team's philosophy. If we look back to the intermittent before the match, we learn quite a bit. Like Kaisa, we know he does not plan to stay with Bastard at Munich, and since Ness cares significantly more about Kaisa than he does for Bastard, then he won't care if his value drops or he gets kicked from the team. All that matters to him is Kaisa. And after they finish talking, Ness leaves by himself and we see him seethe in anger and jealousy, which leads me to believe they'll have at least one more big confrontation between them in the match. We also know right before the match starts that Noah directly calls Kaisa, saying no funny business and to stop his shenanigans, but he doesn't say this to Ness. With Ness injuring Isagi, it also gives a valid reason to bench him later on, which is important for the PXG match. Ness has high stats and although he's underperforming currently and playing poorly in the last two matches, he's still better than a lot of the blue lock characters such as Kiora and Igaguri, as he still is valued 50 million, with stats exceeding 90. If Ness is subbed out, then Kaiser will potentially be alone with the 10 other players being from the blue lock program where he can be finally dethroned and become the naked king Isagi prophesized. Depending on the severity of the injury, Bastard Munich has 20 days until their next match, as they have a break in the 4th week, which could be enough time for Isagi to heal and train for the upcoming PXG match. With Ness being benched, the next question is who will replace him and what happens to the team. As of recording, the two mentors are still playing, and when both leave after the 3 minutes are over, they'll both need replacements who I'm guessing will be Ishikari replacing the Snuffy, and either Tepe or Hiyori replacing Noah as the right fullback. I mentioned these two players in particular because they both played right fullback in the U20 match. And since Bastard Munich typically play a 4-4-2 formation, then the substitute will likely be the same position. With Hiyori's screen time and backstory, it's likely Hiyori is set up to be the reason they win the Ubers match. By constantly talking about Isagi and himself linking up, I'd guess then Hiyori subs in as Noah's replacement. Once Ness gets sent off, I'd guess that Hiyori would be moved into Ness's midfield role, with Tepe replacing Hiyori as the right fullback. Another side note, but Bastard Munich can only score 4 more goals in this arc, with 2 being locked for Kunigami and Isagi in the final PXC match, as their rivals are Rin and Shido. I mention this because Yukimiya mentions he wants to prove his worth right before the Ubers match, as he didn't feel like he earned his value due to Isagi being the reason he scored. We also know Noah mentioned at the beginning of the match that this match is a battle of 1v1s, which Yukimiya is also known for, as is referred to as the 1v1 Emperor. Since there's only two possible goal slots left, I think Yuki has a chance to score one more and prove his worth, which could happen in either match. The other option is Hiyori, scoring off someone else's assist like Isagi. With Karasu's comment about his heart in front of the goal not being there, and with Hiyori getting inspired by Isagi and asking him to take him with him, I could see Hiyori awaken and score the final goal. Especially if you consider Chigiri, where we know both had mental struggles in their backstory and going into the third match, where eventually Isagi inspires their love of football. We also observe in the third selection that Hiyori and Chigiri match up quite a lot during the second half of the match. We also know that Chigiri eventually gets replaced by Hiyori in the U20 match. And although it probably doesn't mean much, I feel like Chigiri and Hiyori share some similarities and may subtly imply something. With Ness injuring Isagi, the match can get prolonged and Hiyori can further boost his value. More than a singular super assist to Isagi like many fans anticipate. 
and so I believe that Hiori has a high chance of not just passing, but actually scoring the final goal of the match. As mentioned early in the video, I still think that the match will remain a draw between Kaisa and Isuki, and so I'm guessing either Yuki or Hiori scores the final goal. In summary of how I expect this scenario to play out, I think Noah and Snuffy will get subbed out for Hiori and Ishikari respectively. Hiori will enter and show signs of metavision and link up with Izuki, where they make a dangerous combination together. After some defending from both sides and more players awakening, we get in a position where Hiori passes the game winning assist to Izuki. Before Izuki shoots the final goal to beat Kaisa and finally dethrone him, Ness gets in the way, and Izuki, who thinks he will just push him like before, does not expect a full tackle. After injuring Izuki, Ness will get subbed off for Tepe, and the match will continue. Eventually, Hiri either makes another game winning assist with Isagi or Yukimiya, or scores the goal himself, and we see his value skyrocket as they beat Ubers. And this is only considering if Ness injures Isagi in the Ubers match. There's still the whole PXG match where this could happen too. And with that being said, thanks for watching and subscribe, as I intend to post more frequently in the future.